cider. Hey everyone, Destin here. Sitting on the floor today, but uh, I'm about halfway done through my PC build. I know we never hit the goal over on Twitch, but I could not take it anymore. I was tired of streams being laggy. So, thank you for your support. Uh, hopefully we can still hit that goal before Destiny 2 comes out. But anyway, I'm in the middle of the build, and uh, I figured I'd just film it as I progressed. Yeah, so I'm working on the processor right now. Right now, I'm not sure where this says it's supposed to be mounted. Attach the radiator fan, I should rest cooling performance, mounting the fan. The photo looks like it's on the back. But I have to take off this old one first. So this is my water cooler, water cooled PC stuff. Can you really put a fan in backwards? Oh man, that's gonna be such a tight fit. I have no idea how to tell if I put the fan in right, so I probably, oh, outflow. Okay, there's arrows on it. Shit. Well, I have it backwards. Everything's going great so far. I'll fix the camera so you can watch me do this wrong. So we're working on the fan right now, and I just realized there's these arrows on the fan. So basically, most of this, most of this stuff has been easy. This guy, you just put it in there, and then you run the cables to where they go. This one, you just put it in the slot. This is my Aver, you put it in the slot. Now this little guy here, this little guy here, that's my 500 gigabytes of fancy. Oh yeah, see? Then boom, it's gonna go right onto there. It's gonna fit real nice. Ram, you just pop it in. Most of this pretty easy, pretty straightforward stuff. How to install the Intel backplate. Well, I don't have an Intel. Wait, do I actually have to do that? AMD, here we go. Take this and you just kind of put it on top of it like that, I guess. Consider yourself installed, sir, or ma'am. All right, so we've taken off the bottom and uh, there are thermal paces exposed. We got our mounting bracket on there. Um, there's only really one way. Is there a way it goes? I don't think there's a way it goes. I think it just goes on top there. I don't really want it shoving against the RAM though. Well, no coming back now. It's on there. I think I've installed everything. All right, internet, I've gotten everything installed. I'm plugging it in, wish me luck. I think that's good. Don't blow up. Mostly good, a little bit of a scare there. The fan is working. Everything seems to have enough power. It came on. So far so good, it is on. Press delete or F2. Other than the fact that it doesn't work, I love it. Well, strangely, I can't get into the BIOS, which tells me I may have installed my USB drivers improperly. How's that even possible though? It goes right into the board. Alright, I've been working on this all night. I finally got it to go into the BIOS. <laughs> I got my new version plugged in. This is the newest manufacturer version. Shout out to Illegal Matt for helping me with this. Press 1 to run setup. F1 to run setup. Let's do it. We're in! Flashing it. Wish me luck. Okay, well, it froze. So I'm assuming everything's written. Yes, update the effing BIOS. I can use my computer. I literally had to pull every single thing out. I have one ripped jaw sticker in. I had to pull out my 500. I had to pull out my Aver. Now I'm gonna go download Windows 10. I'm gonna shut her down, go back to work. I'm putting everything back in. I'll let you know how it goes. This was fun. <laughs> All right, so the BIOS is updated. I'm tired and sick, but I'm gonna get this PC built before I go to bed. All right, let's boot it up again. Got the RAM in. Got the video card in. I have my Aver back in. I have the hard drives hooked up. And the Titan's good to go. I reset the RAM into the proper optimization slots. Slots A1 and B1. Water cooler's connected. Two hard drives are good to go. I think we're gonna go for it. Now I can set boot order. Hope it works. This Asus board is a piece of my new X370 Tai Chi ass rock board. That's right, it's gonna rock my ass off. I have to swap the whole motherboard, which means I have to do thermal paste. I have to do a bunch of stuff. We're gonna gut everything in here out and we're gonna put in the new board tonight. It shouldn't take that long. Let's get to it. I'm gonna switch the camera. I'll see you in a second. Uh, 
that's how you remove a board, that's it. Now, it's time for the new one. space so recording on the laptop let's put the laptop here and kind of tilt it down so you can see what I'm doing Okay, we're getting three long beeps. That means something is installed in there. Okay, so it's day two of trying to fix the computer. Basically, that monitor right there will turn on if it works. Now, one of the main tips that I saw was uh, people suggested just unplug everything. You want one stick of RAM, your video card, and basically that's it. Just get it to boot, so that's what I'm gonna be messing with. Wish me luck, everybody. I've been messing with this for like half an hour now. I'm going to Fry's, I'm buying new RAM, and I'm I'm ready to smash this RAM with a hammer. Or send it back and get a refund. I mean, it's like $250, I'm not crazy. All right, I'm back. It is 8.32. And I bought this RAM. This is apparently motherboard compatible. As you can see, my living room is a disaster. It is just carts and everything so as with most builds you want to start with one stick of RAM so that's what we're gonna do and there's the vengeance gonna open up so apparently what the issue was by the way is this board only supports 32 gigs of RAM no more and the stick I'm putting in there is 16 it likes 8 you learn something new every day huh it's in, graphics card is in, moment of truth. Board is lighting up. Please, for the love of God, work. It's motherboard supported RAM. It's on the approved vendor list. This has to be it, right? No F9. <laughs> Give me some on the screen, baby. Give me some on the screen. Come on. We have life. We fucking did it. Yes. <laughs> Two days, two days, I'm producing IGN first right now, one of the most stressful projects you can work. IGN first is just crazy sometimes. I'm doing that, I haven't shaved in a week, but it's working. So let's stick in the rest of that RAM, boot it up again and go from there. Holy oh, Christ. See you guys soon. All right, so next, I'm gonna shut it down, close it all up, plug everything in, set it up the way that I wanted originally and go from there. All right, so that is the end of the adventure. We're gonna boot into Windows. There, see, it, it even recognized me. Uh, we're gonna boot into Windows ridiculously fast. And uh, just thank you guys for watching. Uh, this video went out first to subscribers, 
Best way to subscribe is over on twitch.tv slash the Destin channel. You can do so for free with Amazon Prime. Uh, thank you for backing the channel. Uh, thank you for helping me build this PC, uh, even though it cost me many days of headaches. Uh, I'm just happy I got it up and running, and uh, I'll see you guys online. Until then, peace out. Later, everybody.